In this video, we'll create an automation rule inside the tasks library. When you change a task's status to in progress, the system will automatically set the priority field to high before the record is saved. This helps speed up your workflow and prevents manual errors. While inside the library, open the menu and select automation rules. This is where you define actions that run automatically in response to changes in your entries. Tap the plus button to add a trigger. For the trigger type, choose Updating an Entry. This means the rule will run when a record is edited. Then set the phase to Before Saving the Entry. This tells the system to execute the rule just before the updated data is saved. Once the trigger is configured, you'll need to add a rule. This is where we define the conditions and tasks that will be performed. Next, we'll specify when this rule should apply. Click the filter icon next to Rule Condition. In the filter dialog, Select the field task status and set the condition to is one of in progress. With this filter in place, the rule will only run when the task status is being changed to in progress. Now let's define what the rule should do. Click add task and choose the task type update field. From the list of fields, select priority. Then click the button on the left of the input field and choose high as the value. This means the system will automatically assign a high priority when the status becomes in progress. Give your rule a name such as set high priority and save it. Let's test how it works. We open a task, set the status to in progress, and after we save the record, we see that the priority field has been updated to high. That confirms our rule is working. Automation rules in Memento help eliminate repetitive edits and make your data more reliable. Let's now expand our automation by setting the due date based on the task's priority, automatically, at the moment the task is created. We'll start by creating a new trigger. Tap the plus button to add a trigger and choose Creating an Entry. For the phase, select Before Saving the Entry. This ensures that the due date is filled in just before the new task is saved. Once the trigger is configured, we add a rule. Set the rule condition to apply only when priority equals low. Then add a task of type update field and select the due date field. In our example, it's called time. Now we'll enter an expression that sets the date to 10 days from today. We'll use two built-in functions. Now, which returns the current date and time, and date add, which adds a number of days to a given date. Just like in calculated fields, these functions can be used in expressions. In the value field, enter equals date add, parentheses, now, parentheses, comma, 10, parentheses. Save the task. Now, let's create a second rule for tasks with medium or high priority. In the rule condition, set the filter to match priority equals medium or high. Add another task update field, and again, select the due date field. This time, set the value to equals date add parentheses now parentheses comma three parentheses. Save the rule. Let's name the trigger something like set due date on create. Now let's test how it works. We'll create a new task and set the priority to low. After saving the record, the due date field is automatically filled in, 10 days from today. Next, we create another task, this time with high priority. After saving, the due date is set to three days from now, just as we defined in the rule. Everything works as expected. By combining filters, update tasks, and expressions using built-in functions, you can automate complex workflows and ensure consistency in your data.